Hello everyone, here are the latest market news on January the 28th, 2021. Tesla reports first annual profit in its history. For the first time in its history, electric car manufacturer Tesla did not record a loss for the year. Total profit of 2020 was $721 billion, compared to a net loss of $862 million in 2019. The total income for the whole year is $31.5 billion. The indicator increased on the background of the release of a new crossover SUV Model Y, as well as due to the growth of sales in China. The company delivered 180,570 vehicles in the fourth quarter, a record number. However, the company never reached its ambitious 2020 goal of half a million cars falling 500 units short. Tesla's earnings and revenue results were below investors' expectations. They also expected the corporation to announce new car delivery targets, but Tesla only said it was going to reach an average annual growth rate of 50%. Tesla shares went down in price by 5% after the report. Apple beats profit forecast with record sales. Apple Inc. on Wednesday reported quarterly holiday sales and profits that beat Wall Street expectations. The release of new iPhones that support the 5G cellular standard helped push phone revenue to a new record, with sales in China up 57%. The company's revenue for the quarter rose 21% to $111.44 billion, earnings per share rose to $1.68 from $1.25, beating Wall Street's average forecast, calculated according to IBES data. The iPhone sales totaled $65.60 billion and broke the record set three years ago. Apple smartphone shipments jumped 22% to a record 90.1 million units in the fourth quarter, making it the world's largest smartphone seller with a 23.4% global market share, data from research firm IDC showed. Wall Street shows highest daily drop on Fed speech. U.S. stocks posed their biggest daily percentage decline in three months on Wednesday, continuing to weaken after the Fed announcement. In addition, major indexes were also pressured by a drop in Boeing shares and the sale of long positions by hedge funds. The Dow Jones index closed down 2.05 percent, the S&P 500 index was down 2.57 percent, while the Nasdaq fell 2.61 percent. This is the biggest daily percentage decline since October the 28th. The U.S. Federal Reserve kept its key rate in the O. 0.00 through 0.25% range and did not change its monthly securities purchases, reiterating its promise to maintain policy until the economy recovers. Shares of video game retailer GameStop Corp more than doubled Wednesday, continuing last week's rally as amateur investors rushed back into those stocks, forcing short sellers such as Citron and Melon to give out their losing bets. Shares of Boeing Co. fell 3.97 percent as company reported record annual losses and delayed 777X launch. Toyota became the world's top car dealer in 2020. Japan's Toyota Motor Corp. overtook Germany's Volkswagen in auto sales last year. As a result, it regained the top spot in global auto sales for the first time in five years as a pandemic slump in demand hit its German rival harder. Toyota said Thursday that worldwide sales across the group fell 11.3 percent to 9.528 million vehicles in 2020. That compares with a 15.2 percent drop at Volkswagen to 9.305 million vehicles. Automakers have been hit by by coronavirus. However, Toyota fared better in the pandemic in part because its domestic market as a whole were less affected by the outbreak than Europe and the United States. In addition, as demand for cars recovers, Toyota, Volkswagen and other manufacturers are trying to meet the growing demand for electric cars. Toyota said the share of electric cars it sold last year rose to 23% of total sales from 20% in 2019.